Hey everyone, Hayden Barber here with Pistol Firing Blog here in Gallagher Ivo Arena. Cowboys are coming off a crazy couple of weeks. Bedlam victory, victory in, in West Virginia against uh, the Mountaineers, and now you get rewarded with Baylor. Uh, Baylor's coming off a, a home loss, and OSU obviously is flying high. And here's what Brad Underwood and players had to say about everything that's going on here. Uh, it was an interesting week from the standpoint that uh, two drastically different games. One that we shot the ball very poorly in, at, uh, at OU, and then one that we shot the ball extremely well at, um, in Morgantown. Uh, key to that game, I thought we got off to a great start. And when you play uh, a team that presses like Hugs, they have tremendous um, spurtability, so to speak. And uh, we had to get the lead, so we were able to withstand uh, those those spurts when they came. And and then we were able to, to, to really limit them. Uh, it's funny, we had 19 turnovers in the first game with West Virginia. We had 19 in this one, but the press didn't impact uh, the game like it did in the first one. And, uh, uh, you know, I thought a big key in both games being drastically different was the rebounding. And we had 20 offensive rebounds in Norman. And then we out-rebounded uh, West Virginia 30 to 16. Uh, so a lot of credit. I'm really proud of the way we won. I thought that we made plays to win games, and uh, you know probably done bigger in the, in the uh, West Virginia game than Devon's silly turnover to step in and take a charge, and uh, uh, that changed momentum we went from a layup to a to a charge call, and then we were kind of off and rolling. We've been doing a lot of good things the last um, couple. Of Games. Um, just me bringing you know, the energy off the bench, things like that. And, you know, the seven coach and listening, you know, everything he tells me has been helping me out a lot. You know, on and off the court. It feels good, but at the same time, you got to stay humble. You know, we still got six weeks left in the season. Um, uh, you know, it's always good to for personal achievements, um, but right now, it's all about the team. Yeah, I'm really happy for him. I mean, he, you know, he had the concussion and missed a, a big chunk of. Uh, of a Big 12 play there early in the first go around, and uh, uh, you know I've said it many times. He's our most versatile player. He's a terrific shooter. Uh, you know he's not afraid of the big moment, and he, he proved that early in the year at Tulsa. Uh, and then he is, uh, uh, you know, he's got enough experience. Even though he, he he was he's coming off the bench now. You know he started a good chunk of games early and against top level competition, and and uh, his number was called. Mitch made a great read. He just stepped in and knocked it down. And, uh, and he hit a big three in, in, uh, in Norman as well. So uh, really happy for him. And, you know, I think that uh, uh, along with him, you know, we got great, great contributions from Cam and, and Brandon Everett in the West Virginia game. So, uh, you know, the future's bright with, with those freshmen. And uh, uh, I'm excited to see them growing up and making Baylor's really good. Oh, I know they Baylor, are. Baylor's really good. And uh, um, we didn't shoot free throws very well. We made some shots. Um, we didn't do a very good job defensively at all in that game. Um, I think that's something that we've got to uh, uh, we've got to clean up. Uh, Lecomte had his way with us, um, and then uh, uh, we gave him we gave him so many oppor extra opportunities in the paint. Uh, we don't clean that up, and that's one thing they do a great job of. Uh, there's a reason they they've got three losses on the year. We, we've got to, we've got to play better than we did in the first game because we sure won't play good. That's all from Gallagher Ibo Arena with Pistols Firing Blog. I'm Hayden Barber.